Sorry, Darkman. Pause the video, so part two. Are you there? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me get the uh, speech from there. We go. There we go. All right. Dan. All right. What's up? Hey. Hey, what's up? Much? What are you doing? Well, I'm just hanging out with my brother and family and everything. Oh. I had to walk away for a minute. Oh. Well, we uh, we just drove through the Freak Forest, so we kind of wanted to pick your brain about some cool stories that you might have. Well, all my stories are from, like, 15 years ago, but I'll try to remember, like, the best I can here what happened. Yeah, sure. Uh, so most of the stories were, like, just goofy, like, kind of funny things that happened. Okay. You know, going out by like um, our friend Matt Toffner back in the day by his parents. Yeah. You know, it's kind of the edge of Freak Forest there. Yeah. And you know, we're kids. You know, you talk about all the stuff that happened out there. You know, whatever, whether or not it's true, you don't know. But so you know, there's like an urban legends of a guy on Company Lane hanging himself in the shack. So we used to go in that shack. Right. And uh, I'm. I remember, like, when we were kids, we'd throw, or we, he'd, be, he'd be having, like, a sleepover or whatever. Yeah. And there was one night where we were outside. I think our buddy Nick threw something. It's a high-pitched screech. Probably hit an animal, but it didn't sound like anything we ever heard before. And That's crazy. Kind of cool being by Free Forest. Yeah. But, um, you know, there's uh, times with, uh, you know, probably like when I was like 19, 20, I was out there with my ex-girlfriend and she had this thing about like, she always wanted to go into like abandoned places. So there was an abandoned cabin or at least one that we thought was abandoned. Yeah. And then there was an abandoned house out there. So we went in the abandoned house and we go in there and it's like horror movie. It looks just dilapidated and <laughs> there's like pictures all over the ground and everything like that. Like, like, like the pe- like the people that were in there like just disappeared. It was very weird, and the house is all built up now and nice. Yeah. But at the time, it, it was just it was completely abandoned. Crazy. And, uh, I mean, we're in there and everything like that. And I remember she was sitting there looking at some of these pictures, and I, I walked around to the other room and I stuck around behind her, and I I think I grabbed like a stick or something like that, and I just whipped it at the wall, completely freaked her out. <laughs> but you know, it was a creepy house, so I mean. It's, it worked. I knew it would work because it was it was creepy in there. And there was another time we went out there with um, with her sister, and we went to that cabin that we thought was abandoned. We were going to break into that, and it's like probably one in the morning, and we're we're about to ready to break in, and all of a sudden we look, and there's an alarm clock in there. Like, well, that's kind of weird. It's like a digital one, like a new one. And we're like, okay, that's kind of weird. So we sneak around a little bit more, and all of a sudden there's a guy actually in there sleeping. Wow. <laughs> and this is like an old, you know. Like, we thought abandoned, I guess it was still a hunting shack being used, but it looked pretty beat down, so we didn't think anybody was using it. Right. So we had to sneak out of there without getting caught. <laughs> and so those are those are kind of the goofy stories, but then there's the times we went down to Company Lane, where that's where the weird stuff kind of happened. Yeah, we were um, just there. It was, and it's kind of creepy down there, right? Yeah, it is. I mean, it looks cool anyways. We walked through the shack down there, the one that has no roof. Yeah, 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 and that's the one that, like, when we were kids, Matt was saying that, uh, that's where a guy hung himself or whatever. Okay, I heard it was a girl. Shack. So, yeah, it's, it, so we would go down there, uh, it was usually me and my ex and my cousin Whitney would go down there because, you know, we all, like, would, were hoping to see something weird happen at one point or another. Right. And there were two times for sure that something really, like, couldn't really explain happened. Uh-huh. And then there was one time where it was just kind of weird. So the one time that was kind of weird was um, we were going down there, and we were driving real slow, and I'm in my, my little 1990 Mitsubishi clips, and you know, we're down there real slowly. And we're about to get up to that little shack, and all of a sudden at the end of the road, headlights just turn on. Wow. Out of the clear, but we didn't even see a car down there. So I don't know. I don't know if there was people down there. You know what? You know they could have been doing anything. Who knows? But right. Uh, my my cousin Whitney was driving my car at that time. And she 
she put it in reverse and she backed down that whole road and that car followed us the whole way down. We went down Sabrowski Road and they followed us and they finally veered off on Jay and we got away from them. But that one was kind of weird. But the two times that were like um, more of the like, you know, one of those times where you're like, well, what was that? Right. Or um, another time we were going down there with that same car. And this is probably like maybe a few months after this happened. So we're going down there and we're driving and I used to like, when we were driving down there, I would like slap the door or something like that to try and freak those two out. Yeah. And sometimes it'd work and usually, usually they'd get mad at me. Well, we're driving down and like, this was a thing that we would do like every, you know, a few times a year. Cause I was, I would say I did this for probably like four years straight with these two. Right. And it was something we'd do probably four or five times a year. And I would always do that. I would slap the door or the roof or whatever and try to scare them. Yeah. Well, we're, we're this one time we're driving down there. All of a sudden we hear the oh, bang on the side of my car. Wow. And they thought it was me. And I'm like, no, no, that wasn't me. I think we hit something. So we get out and there's nothing on the road. There's no sign of any dent or anything hitting my car, but it was the loudest. Like it almost sounded like we hit a deer and we unexplainable no idea what it was you know it should have been a dent or something right right yeah so so like we 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 bailed out of there and uh didn't come back for a while but i think our last time down there was the weirdest time and that one was i was with it was myself my cousin my girlfriend at the time her little sister and another friend so it's me and these four girls right. going down there, right? Yeah. And we go down there. We go down company lane. And there's, you know, nothing. It's a normal night. Whatever. Just out. Nothing happened again, you know. And we're leaving. And Did I lose him finally? Like, it just dies. Wait, say that again. I think we lost you. Just died. Oh. What part did you lose me at? Is, all I heard was it just died. Oh yeah, we, well I was getting off of Company Lane and my car just died. Yeah, I like no power. Just dies. Dead. So yeah, and, and there was no like, it wasn't like my my alternator was going or my battery was you know was bad or anything like that. My car just died. Yeah, <clears throat> and we're there and I can't get it started. And uh, so my cousin and I get out of the car. The other three girls are are in the back seat, kind of freaked out of the car. I guess we're going to have to call my dad yeah. or something. So give me a jump or something, you know? And as we're sitting out there, all just, it went from dead silent to like just all this screeching and weird noise. And, you know, it could have been animals or whatever, but it didn't sound like anything you know, that really resembled any animal that I ever heard. And it was getting louder and louder. <laughs> and these girls were freaking out in my back seat because it was kind of getting weird. And, I was actually starting to get a little worried myself because I'm like, well, I, I don't actually know what all this stuff is actually. And it's going all around my car. Yeah. And finally, I get a hold of my dad and he jumps my car and we get out of there. And like I said, I got my car out and there's like no issue at all. My car starts just fine. So it was one of those weird things where, um, you know, like I can't explain why my car just died. And then it was like one of those moments where you're like, yeah, there's something weird going on here. Yeah. You know, it, it, I can't really explain what this is. And you get that eerie feeling. Yeah. Like being watched or something like that. That's kind of what so I, that was of all the times that I went down there. Yeah. Yeah. I, that happened with me and Matt Toffner too. We were driving to a party down that way and we got right, right off of Sabresky road and then right, right in front of where the cabin, the road, the cabin would be on and Matt's car died right there. And then we got it started. Yeah. And then on the way back, it did it again. We got it. Right. Got... Is that not just the weirdest thing? Yeah, it's fucking crazy. And you were saying something <laughs> about like sat- satanic stuff back there by your uh, by Whitney's. Oh yeah, that, that we were back there. Um, I would say this is probably about. This is probably closer to. Oh. Yeah. Um, like 2000, 2002. Okay. So I was still in high school at this time, and. Um, you could hear in summertime, it, it would only be for like two weeks out of the summertime. These people would come up from Chicago uh-huh. and you could hear like the war drums going on in, in 
the woods and it was really really weird so finally uh you know my cousin whitney and i and she lived back closer to where this was happening yeah we decided to go back there and, and see what was going on and we're walking and we found you know by their fire pit yeah they had a they had a crow inside a, a circle of rocks it was like five or six rocks around this crow with like an x mark around it and the crow was gutted out and like Jesus. its wings were spread open and everything like that it was really weird wow yeah that's crazy so you know this little small town tiger and scots and stories you know yeah well that's <laughs> that's cool though well dan thanks for uh thanks for letting us chat your ear off for a little bit uh we'll uh no problem we uh we, we thank you very much and uh we uh we hope to see you soon yeah, well, I'll uh, see you around. Yeah, are you doing anything tomorrow? I have, I think I just got a mole on tomorrow, that's about it. Oh, okay, Julie's having a party tomorrow at my house, so shoot the address to you. Birthday, okay, birthday cool. barbecue, or I'm having a fire. What time? Five-ish. Sounds good. All right, man, I'll, give, shoot you, I'll shoot you the address. All right, thank you. All right, no problem, buddy. See you later. Thank you. Yep, see you later. Okay, bye. Bye. These are very interesting, cool stories. Yep. What do you think, Dark Man? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very good. We, uh, we, we walked back there, so it, you, you could see how, you know, it's kind of like phone or telephone when you, you hear he was saying something about a guy hanging himself there, but I heard a totally different story that was with some girl named Sarah, so... Yeah. It all it all stems that their their stories start from somewhere. So, yeah. it's a, it is a small town and um, it's a very cool town. Uh, if you ever come out here, um, Tiger, Wisconsin, you'll be bored to death. But there's like nine bars here. So, <laughs> uh, we're gonna go find a bar and we'll drink some drinks. All right. So, hold me. Hold you. Push you. Push the pot. All right. Well, we couldn't do this episode without a couple beers in our hands. So. Uh, thank you for joining us on our uh, adventures. Our Freak Voice episode. I want to thank Danny. I want to thank the city of Tigerton and Blazers Bar and Grill out here in Split Rock. So, if you're looking for a good fish fry, Blazers Bar and Grill. So, big shout out to them. Uh, got anything to add? No. Nope. Okay. Well, until next time, I'm Lurch. I'm Dark Man. And you've been slashed. <laughs>